What up, it's Esteban here in the Lower East Side of Manhattan at Wallplay for the release of The Casino, which is the second collaboration between Just Blaze, Packer Shoes, and Saucony. Now we're going to head inside and talk to Mike Packer himself and of course, Just Blaze. Esteban here with Mike Packer. Now, you're fresh off the heels of the Diodora Purple Tape Raekwon release, and here we are with the second installment of your Saucony Just Blaze Packer Shoes connection. Right. So tell me about right. the second installment. When we were thinking about it, and we want to do something on a new shoe, and this is a totally different shoe, and we're lucky enough to do something on this shoe, and to the world, Snow Beach is like, holy we know that's what it is. Oh, yeah. This is like, holy I didn't realize that was in my closet. But what we did with it, and I think in working with Just With It, if you envision the shirt on the shoe, this is the way it'll come out. So, I mean, we're happy. Perfect. We're happy with it. And working with Saucony is great, so it's right. cool. You get a history lesson when you get these sneakers. Let's talk about, for example, the dice yeah. and the bicycle cards. Yeah, that come yeah, yeah. With. What are the years that are on each dice? What do they so, symbolize? I mean, so when we had the idea to do the dice, then you think about how do you make it authentic so it all like comes together. Right, right. So casino dice, and these are like real casino dice, have four numbers on them. So 1907 was Packer Shoes when we were founded. 1977 was when Just was born. And then the fourth one, that's when Saucony was founded, which I believe is 1898. The CeeLo dice is something where, you know what? After we interview, you know, you interview me, if CeeLo games break out downstairs, that's cool with me. I don't care. <laughs> right, right. So, that's New York. We're here for the second Saucony yes, sir. of this whole Ralph Lauren movement. So yes, sir. the first one was the iconic Snow Beach. Right. This time around, why did you choose the casino? I chose the casino, or we chose the casino, because the Snow Beach was so iconic, because it was such an iconic piece. And for a lot of people, it introduced the uh, polo movement to the world. This time around, I wanted to do something slightly less known, right. a little bit more educational, just introduced people to uh, to the culture on a different level. Right, right. So I want to do something that um, could make people say, oh, well, what is that? I don't know what that is. And they go do their, do their own research and find out more about the piece. And in turn, hopefully they'll learn a little bit more about the culture. The first time around for the Snow Beach, you got in when the design was done. Right. Talk about the process this time around. Were you involved this time? The design was almost done. It wasn't all the way there. Okay. You know, but I definitely came in part way through that process. This was obviously different because we started from the ground up. Right, 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 right. And one of the main differences between this piece and the Snow Beach piece, or I'm sorry, the Snow Beach shoe and this shoe, is that we were able to tell more of a story with this one. From the bag, to the dice, to the playing cards. There were just so many more creative things we could do. As a uh, sneaker lover, right. as a Ralph lover, right. talk about just what that means to bring those two worlds together because the low lives are also known for the fresh kicks. Music, you brought up sneakers, you brought up fashion, a Ralph Lauren fashion, but it all starts with the music. If it wasn't for the music, I wouldn't be standing here right now. That's what got me the opportunity to go into other lanes and express myself. It then turned around and allowed me to return back to my DJing roots. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, right, so right. for me, I just thank God for music to be able to come back and do all the other things that I love. This is part two. Yes, this is part two. Are there more parts in the pipeline? What can you tell Everybody us? Everybody keeps asking if there's more. You'll have to wait and see. 